Here's how you can create an AI perception system using the touch sensory configuration. Inside your controller class for your enemy, add the AI perception component. Then in the details panel, add a sensory config for the touch configuration. You can expand out the options and you can set up your detection by affiliation. In this example, I am checking for enemies, neutrals, and friendlies. You can also set the maximum age for which your stimulus lasts. In this demo, I'm gonna set this to be five seconds. Now that we have the controller set up, we need to set up the controller to be used by our enemy pawn. So in our enemy blueprint, we can simply search for pawn in the details panel, and there's an AI controller class option. You'll want to set that to use the blueprint of your custom controller that we just set up that has the AI perception system in it. Once you've done that, you want to search for rotation, and you'll want to uncheck the box for orient rotation to movement, and instead you'll want to check the box for use controller desired rotation, and then you want to set your rotation rate. In this example, I'm setting it to 500. Once you have that done, we can now go into our player blueprint, and we have to add in the AI perception stimuli source component. Once you've added it, you then have to configure it to use touch, and then we can go to the event graph and actually co uh, code in some logic to call a report on that sense. In this example, I'm going to use the capsule component, and then I'll use an on component hit event. I'll then cast to my enemy blueprint, and then if successful, I will call the report touch event, and I'll pass the enemy blueprint actor as the receiver, and then I'll get a reference to self uh, to pass in my player blueprint as the other actor. I then simply grab my capsule component, since that's the root object, and I can get the world location and pass that into the location field. With all that set up, we can now create a behavior tree and a blackboard to drive some logic. So for the simple setup, I have two sequence nodes, one called investigate and another called loiter. The investigate uses a uh, blackboard value boolean check called touched. And then if this is flipped to true, we can basically call a predefined task called rotate to face blackboard entry. The blackboard that I'm using is going to be uh, a value called interest. And then if we set the touched boolean to false, we'll go into the loiter branch, and that one just simply rotates to face another blackboard entry, but this time I'm using the target location blackboard, and then I'm simply telling it to wait five seconds. To actually change the values of these blackboard keys, we can go into our enemy controller, and under the event graph, under the event begin play, we can run the behavior tree, and then we can select our AI perception, and then right click, and you can add custom events. The events that I'm using are the perception updated and the perception forgotten. When each of these are called, I will simply update those blackboard values, uh, first one being the interest blackboard and the touched blackboard key. And then when the sense is forgotten, I am updating the touched blackboard key to be false. And then the last thing you'll have to check for is under your project settings, under AI systems, make sure that the forget stale actors is checked. With all that done, we can then enter into our prototype. And when you touch your actual AI system, it'll turn towards you. And after five seconds, it should rotate back to what it was doing. And just like that, you've created a touch-driven AI system. Enjoy.